Hello, this is MK Fan 49 with another review. Today we're reviewing the TMNT crossover with Transformers, the Party Walla. I got this from BigBadToyStore.com. Here is the front of the package, the side of the package, the back of the package, the other side of the package, the top and the bottom. And let's crack this open. So here is the Turtle Van, aka Party Walla. I have to give them credit. This is a great Transformer. This is a Voyager. This is not a Deluxe. This is a nice, good Voyager. For the price point that you're paying for this. You can raise the cannons up. Down. And sometimes the weapons do tend to come down. So this is where I have all the weapons stored in the various places that they can be held. Front of the bottom for the size and Leonardo swords. You have the various mirrors on the side. The one on the top. The spoiler. And that. And now for comparison. Here we have. This is the Blackbird. This is the known as the... Um, I forgot what the name is called. The Expanse. This is so huge that I can't really show it because it's so huge for the jet. So this is how it is. It's really long. This was a repaint. Oh, sorry. A retool of Studio Series Jetfire. One of the four Jurassic Park crossovers. Another one of the Jurassic Park crossovers. If I can get him to stand. It may not once. The other two Jurassic Park crossovers. The um, Universal Monsters crossover. This is Frankentron. The Stranger Things crossover. The Back to the Future crossover. <laughs> but this right here. The two different Ectotrons for the Ghostbusters crossover. I do have the Prime also, but I don't want to take them down off the shelf. With my other primes. And I'll even show. I got one more figure to sh show if it decides that it wants to work with me. And uh, it's giving me a little bit of trouble right now. This is why I don't really take him off the shelf. This is basically G2 Devastator, but this is known as the Tonkinator um, that they used. And this is, the mode is based on the G2 Tonkinator, but this is also using the Tonka toys. He doesn't... He does not stand very well because that keeps happening no matter what. I can't seem to get him to stand properly. But just wanted to show him off. And now down the transformation. Okay, it's trans <coughs> excuse me, the transform the party wagon or party wall up. First, go ahead and remove the swords on the bottom, the daggers slash size for Raphael. You want to go ahead and first go ahead and open up these panels on the sides. Open up the panel up here. Go ahead and open up the panels right there. Then you want to come to the back. 
go ahead and straighten out the legs. You want to fold out the heel, the heel spurs and fold down the tires like that. Straighten this down and go ahead and fold these skirts for the tires to now become the skirt of the transformation. And then you want to go ahead and open this up like that. Go ahead and remove this plate right here. Bring out and bring down. Go ahead and bring these panels down here like that. Go ahead and rotate these panels down on the sides like that. And next, you want to do... You can, you can take that off for now. You want to come to the back. Go ahead, you see we're... Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> where all of the different faceplates are. For you Go ahead and remove these because you're going to need them. So go ahead and remove all of these from the back, from the bottom, along with Donnie's staff. Come to the bottom like this, and you want to fold these two in like that. Come to the bottom. And you want to let this down like that. Go ahead and flip up the head. And you want to make sure it lines up to the back. Make sure that's out for that. And there you have the party wallop. Now right now he's not in any turtle mode. This is just the base mode. And if you want to, let me put this back on again. Now this came off. You can either A, you can, you can use this as a shield first. Go ahead and move this panel down like that. And there's a hole right here on his side of his arm. Put this right here, and you have a shield. And you have that right there. He does come with a little... This is the front of the turtle van. If you turn it to the bottom, you get that. If you turn it this way, this is for the turtle van. Like that. And if you, if you don't want that on, fold that down. And if you are wanting to just have this on the front like that. So now another feature we can do before we get down to articulation. You can remove that. So first, let's put on Leo's faceplates. And they attach just like this. So there you go. You have Leo there. You want to come up here and you want to move this panel right there up. And you want to rotate it till you see Leo's faceplate like that. I got to get it up just a little more there. And he does have his katanas. Go ahead and put the katanas in his hand like that. And there you have Leonardo. To do Raphael, go ahead and remove the katanas from his hand. Remove the face plates. Go ahead. Oh, not Raphael. Sorry, Donatello. Pick the Donatello head sculpt up like that. That will fall into there. You want to come up to here. And you want to look for Donnie's initial. Like that. Go ahead and bring that down like that. Then you want to take his bow staff. And you want to put it like that. So for now, I'm just going to hold it in one hand. Then after this, go ahead and remove his bow staff. And it folds up nicely. When you don't need it in stock, go ahead and remove the face plates and put on Raz face plates. 
go ahead and bring up the faceplate again like that. You want to rotate it like that. That's Mikey. That's Raph. And that's Raphael. Take his size. Put him into his hand like that. Yeah, some of these pieces do come off very easily. So there you have Raphael. And last but least, take the Raphael faceplate off. And you want to go ahead and put on the Mikey faceplate. Shift this over one to the right, to like this. And you have Mikey. His nunchucks, which is nice, is stored right under here for his first nunchuck. Go ahead and remove the size for Raphael and take them out of his hand. Go under those panels. This is the first nunchuck from Mikey. Remove that. And you want to come up to here for the other nunchuck. Go ahead and remove that. Close the panel down. And there for that. And there you have that. So if you don't want to use these, well, you I'm keeping my chemo for now. There's a tab right here for you to put the size for Raphael. Same for that one. For Leo, there is a panel right here where you're going to put the katana at. So when he's not in, as long as he's not in um, vehicle mode, and you would do the same thing over here. There's a panel right there, and you want to connect the panel to this little piece onto the katana. And there you have that. For Donnie, you would have to, like I show you, open. You would have to take this, and you want to open. Open up the panel back here. There's a notch right under here. If I can show this properly. There's a notch. Go ahead and take the notch and put that into there. And that stores that. Go ahead and close the panel back up. And bring this back down. And you want to bring this so this will connect to the back. And let me get my fill on the floor. So let's do this one more time. For the katanas. Since he's not in Leonardo mode right now. He's in Mikey mode. And it stores them. It's not securely enough, but they will store. And go ahead and take this and put this back on the side. Now let's move on to articulation. So the head, let me move this up. Hold on. This is crazy. Fuck it. You can rotate the head 360. It can go forwards, go back and forwards, a little side to side. And let me bring this back down. The arms can rotate. 360. You can also you can go out to the side like that. You get no bicep swivel, unfortunately. You do get a nice um, 90 degree arm bend, which can rotate 360. The wrist can rotate 360, which is nice. Um, for the legs. <laughs> The legs can just only go almost 90. For the legs, you can actually bend 
40, about 90 degrees for the legs. You do get five swivel, which is nice. Um, you For the toes, it just goes side to side, no up and down motion. And that's due to transformation, really. And for comparison, let me move all these to the side. Here is the second Ectotron that was released. I know he's not one that likes to stand very often. If I can get him to stand. Trying to get him to stand properly. That one with the first Ectotron release. Yeah, they do not very well. The set the first Ectotron release. Frankentron JP12, which is part of the Jurassic Park crossover. The other, I forgot his name, which is also part of the Jurassic Park crossover, which is nice. Um, here is Gigawatts or Gigawatts. Um, I forgot the name of him, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. <laughs> JP90 from the Jurassic Park crossover. Um, this is from the Stranger Stranger Things crossover. And this is for the Target crossover. This is the Target Optimus Prime. And yes, I definitely need to take these down. Almost, I got one more to show. And here is Expanse in his robot mode. He's huge. So now let me get the rest of these onto the side for now. Overall, I definitely do recommend this figure and also I believe that you need at least more than one for this. You can do all four turtles, and maybe a fifth one to have one that's one that stays in the turtle van. But overall, this is a great figure to have to anyone's collection who was a Transformer fan or a TMNT fan. This is worth your money. I did get this at BigBadToyStore.com. Um, I don't know if, if you pre-ordered these, you sh they should be shipping them right now for those who pre-ordered in the first wave. But please like the video, comment down below, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you like the content that I am providing, and click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos and shorts. For any shorts and videos you may have missed, this is MKFan49, signing out. Cowabunga!